Welcome to Can Hammer, everybody. Your source for 40k from the Great White North. I'm here with Peter tonight. Peter is bringing Necrons, one of only two Necron players I know of in Ottawa. Um, you and Peter, you both Peters. Both Peters. And a uh, so uh, a requested matchup between Necrons and Custodes, and the Custodes group has asked me to play Foot. So I have. So I'm bringing a Foot list tonight against Flyer heavy Necrons. So. We'll see how it goes. Literally, Should be an interesting game. One thing doesn't have fly. <laughs> yeah, but like fly yours specifically. Oh, for uh, me, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so and flies, uh, yeah. so cool. So we're gonna set up and then we'll come back with the army list. But this should be an interesting game. Okay, everybody, the long-awaited foot list. So I've been bugged and bugged and bugged by the custodies group to play foot list. Restricting myself to foot only, no bikes, no vehicles, I guess no dreads, so just foot. So here it is. I've decided to try this one out first, which is a battalion, but I have another list that's just a patrol. Um, so we're going to see how this one goes. I'm a little bit worried about it against Peter specifically tonight because I have very little to interact with flyers and of course he has three flyers. So we'll see how it goes. Play smart, we should be able to, to do something. So it is a battalion basically with Valoris, Vexilla with the banner, he's the warlord as usual. And my one bike I'm allowed is the biker captain with the three up involm. Then I have two five man units of Sagittarum. The Sagittarum are of course rocking these uh, calivers, two five mans. One of them has three misericorded, the other has two. And then I have a three man unit of guardians with two sword and board. Then I have a full flavored six man Aqualon unit, all last room. And a full flavored six man Venatari unit. The first time playing these guys, so I hope they're gonna perform. They, I'm running them with the bucklers and the pistols, so um, they're not, uh, I didn't model those because I didn't like how they looked. But uh, that's how I will be running them, and I'll fix it if I like it. But, and that's it. That's 1998 points. And we'll see how it does against evil Necrons. Alright, the might of the Saltec Dynasty is here. Shiny. All right, so what you got, Peter? Uh, so we have a air wing detachment over here. Yeah. With three dune sites. And this is to do the mortal wound stratagem thingy. Yes. Yeah, so for all you old school players, here is a Gen One blast template. So that's a what? Th a three so inch radius. So it's a th it's from the point three inches out. Okay. So a six inch blast marker. Cool. Uh, any point visible to all three units within twenty four inches. Um, and they have to be within six inches of each other for one yeah. command point. It's a three up on, sorry, four it's, up. It's a four up on any uh, single model unit, five up on characters, three up on five or more units with five or more characters, 3d3 mortal wounds. Okay. Uh, very nice for when people have something called the Iron Stone hanging around. You yeah, know? nobody's playing that anymore. Nobody does <laughs> that, right? That's not okay, cool. so that's and the then, triple flyer gimmick. We have a uh, fast attack detachment with okay. Imotech uh, as the uh, warlord here. here yeah. And he has Thrall and Silent King, so he has, can do a three inch more, uh, he has three inches more to his aura. Yep. We have two units of destroyers. Oh, that's Imotech, this dude here. Yeah, yeah that's Imotech. Two units of five destroyers, yeah. okay. And then we have eight Tomb Blades. Yeah, eight Tomb Blades, okay. Uh, one with, all of them have a three up except for one who has a four up, just because they're kind of Okay. Squeak it in there for points. Okay. Then we have two units of scarabs. Okay. Split between that and our heavy support detachment. In the heavy support detachment, we have the crypt tech yep. and three doomsday arcs. Uh huh. The crypt tech has the uh, the the counterpart cloak, so he has fly, and he heals units within three inches of him for D three mortal wounds if they have the living metal, living metal ability. All right. Okay. So. Okay, I haven't played Necrons in a long time, and I have first time playing Foot in a long time. So we'll see how it goes. We'll come back with the mission. All right, we are playing ITC Mission 4, which is, um, whatever What's it's yours called. Is mine? What's yours is mine. This is the one with the middle objective and then two of uh, two each player place objectives. Uh, we rolled up a, a pointy Dawn of War. 
Peter's on that side, I'm on this side. And I've placed my objective over here and over there. And the bonus, of course, is if you hold both your player place objectives, Peter's is placed is in the middle there and then over here. And uh, that's it. So uh, we will be doing, oh, secondaries. So Peter has picked Gangbusters, the obvious pick for me. He's picked Old School. Uh, he referred to that as his Old Faithful. And Recon, which is because he's got Coon Blades and Three Flyers, so he should be easily get three or four out of Recon. I found it hard. I picked Gangbusters because I think I'm going to have to kill Destroyers in order to win. Um, I picked Big Game Hunter because I need to be able to kill at least two Flyers. Um, and I picked Recon instead of Old School because I want to see how good this Footless is at covering ground. So I'm going to challenge myself with that. So we'll see how it goes. We'll come back after deployment. Okay, so uh, deployment. So Peter has deployed his planes over there and the Dunes Derricks along the back and then everything else in a big blob right there. There's a scarab unit on that, uh, on that objective there and the other scarab unit is behind that ruin. I have deep struck my heavy hitters and put my other dudes behind this building on this objective here. Woohoo! Um, so that is basically my deployment. So I don't have very many models on the board right now. And so I'm going to give Peter first turn. I don't think there's much point in me taking first turn. So have a good, good have a good game, Peter. We're going to come back with Necrons turn one. Awesome. Okay, movement for uh, Necrons basically taking up 75% of the board already. So these three flyers over here ready to drop their bomb. Uh, the Tomb Blade, everything has moved up here basically. These Scarabs advanced up that way. Those Scarabs uh, over here didn't move and the Doomsday Arcs did not move either. So we'll come back at the end of this turn and see. I don't have much on the table actually. I might get like boots or whatever. <laughs> okay, so Necron shooting. So the Amalgamated Targeting Stratagem killed two Sagittarium and two of these guys. And then all this Tesla did one more damage to this dude. And then uh, Doomsday Arc shooting uh, just fluffed and did nothing to this Sagittarium. So I survived. So uh, Necrons have not killed. Uh, you hold for sure. Yep. Um, you uh, gangbuster, so you killed uh, six wounds at the top, seven wounds, eight wounds, and then another six wounds. So you killed fourteen. Yep. So that's two gangs. Two gangs. No first blood, and you got recon. So four point first turn for Necrons, pretty good. And four nothing coming Custodes turn one. Okay, Custodes. So I don't have many choices. I need to kill one jet, or else I'm going to eat. Mortals. So this captain has prayed to the emperor and he's come out. And then everybody's just shifted a little bit to protect myself from some doomsday arc fire. I think I'm pretty good here in terms of uh, line of sight, unless you move way over there, which you can. Yeah. Um, and then I've got all that stuff which I cannot hide from if Peter gets good advances. So that's the key. So we'll see how we go with that. You know what? Okay, so the end of this turn, actually all the dis disintegrator beams from the Sagittarium did seven wounds to this flyer and Valoris did two more. Uh, no, they didn't do that much because the, the Valoris did two, Valoris did uh, two. the Vaxilla did two, um, and then the captain didn't do anything and then captain killed it in combat and is consolidated into this building there, which won't really save him because those things are infantry and fly. But anyway, so uh, there he is. And uh, so, that's the end of my turn. So at the end of my turn, I killed, I hold, you hold more. And you killed more. <laughs> I killed more. Uh, no gang, uh, no engineers yet, and no recon. Yeah. So uh, so you got ended up with five that round, and I got one, two, three. So five to three, going on to turn two for Necrons. Oh, uh, just one second, let's do. Okay, turn two, Necron movement. These Tomb Blades have pushed up here. The destroyers have moved and advanced here, and this unit is through the rune now. These two croissants flew over here and here, and the Doomsday Arcs have moved up, and one has moved over there. And that's it. So we'll come back at the end of Necron's turn two. All right, turn two shooting. Uh, this captain obviously died, um, and then I lost one Sagittarium from each unit here, and that's about it. So not too bad. Um, minus one to hit, really stopping that Tesla. So uh, Peter killed. You hold, mm -hmm. uh, you don't get another gang. Oh no, you do. You killed two guys, so that's another one gang. And then, uh, you got recon still? One, two, three, easily, yeah. yeah. 
Okay, so one, two, three, four more points. You're up to nine. So it's nine to three going on to Custody's turn two. Okay, Custody's bust out turn. Here we go. So these guys shift around a little bit. Vexilla, I rerolled the advance to get them farther forward. Uh, Valoris is there. And then I've got Venatari drop nine here. And these guys homered in right in the thick of it right there. So we are going to come back at the end of this turn and see what happens. Okay, so turn two, Custodes. So these Terminators, uh, uh, so there's one, I did one damage on that guy. So he has two left and killed four destroyers. Uh, shooting, actually, these pistols killed like four destroyers. The destroyers have had and then one on the, the, we, I rolled the 11 on the Terminators and that one guy snuck over there and killed the last destroyer. So there we go. Not too bad. Um, unfortunately, we failed a reroll charge against these... Uh, things that's how it goes nine inch charge i did um four or five wounds to this thing from shooting and that is it basically so not a bad turn except if the venatari had made it in here then this would be a much better turn obviously so I technically owe you morale on that on oh, six he runs away oh okay uh, they're the airship town so okay so okay yeah. okay that would have been sweet <laughs> uh okay so i killed i hold you hold more mm -hmm. You I killed more because oh. you didn't kill anything. I killed. You killed the captain. I killed the captain that turn. So oh yeah. People. So actually we tied. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. And then I got all my gangs. Right, because I killed five nine destroyers. So yes. nine times three is twenty seven. Um, twenty seven wounds. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. Great. So I got all my gang. I got engineers, and no recon. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm up to nine. And you got an extra one for five. So it's ten to nine. Oof. Going on to Necron's turn three. That's... All right, Necron's turn three. So the Tomb, Bay, tomb Blades have fled. Like the cowards they are. These Scarabs have made it all the way onto this objective. So Peter will get the bonus now. I'm actually going to advance That thing this moved guy. around. These guys are just full four advance. That one remaining destroyer, none of them reanimated and has moved over there. And then all the vehicles have congregated in this corner here. And that's it, so we'll come back at the end of this turn. Okay, uh, so end of Necron turn three. So three Terminators died. Uh, you messed up a little bit by shooting uh, I shot in the wrong first. order. Yeah, because so then, because all of these guys then couldn't shoot Terminators. But then, and, and then you forgot to do your thing, but you finally did, two. and the Tesla okay. just wrecked these guys. So it's down to three people. Nothing done to these guys, and that's it actually. Yeah. So at the end of your turn, you didn't kill anything, right? I think every custodian dying should just be a You kill. didn't kill anything, right? No, <laughs> no you I hold. I you got the bonus. bonus. I got the bonus. Um, and you got your last gang, because you killed three three mm -hmm. of those dudes. And you got, you don't have recon, man. Uh, he is not in this no, corner. he's not in that corner, and yeah, I, I... I would normally give that to you, but you will learn the lesson better if I don't give it to I you. Because I have made that mistake I, many times. So, okay. I've got one, two, times three points. Score those points. Yeah, yeah, probably. for sure. So, 13 to 9, going on to Custodes' turn 3. Alright, so, Custodes' turn 3. So, these Ventari moved up, Valoris advanced up here. Six inch advancement of Vexilla puts them up there with the Terminators there. And these guys have just shifted around, so hopefully you don't get shot too much. Push them in there. And uh, that's it. So we'll be back at the end of my turn. I should go the boots. Okay, bottom of three um, for Custodes. So all the Tomb Blades, that one destroyer, and the Cryptek dead from these guys made their charges. Uh, then, uh, the Terminators went through the wall, and then the Venatari made a successful seven inch. And, uh, yeah, so, and then that's all I did really this turn. So, I get a uh, kill, I hold, you still hold more. Yep. Yep. Um, I killed more. I got uh, engineers. And I think I have one, two. Two kills. Uh, I Three didn't kills. get into the, anyone oh, into that right, zone. Yeah, no. Ah, oh, I could have. Fuck, didn't get my engineers. No, because you want that minus one to hit the bubble, right? So. Yeah, yeah, but I could have just stayed like that, and I could have... Uh, okay, I didn't think about it again, so my fault. So right. I didn't get a recon. So one, uh, two, three, four. 
So I'm up to 13, and you got an extra one. Yeah. So you're up to 14. Yeah. So it's 14 to 13, turn four for Necrons. Ooh. All right, tight game, Necrons turn four. So uh, Imhotek has fled again. All of these vehicles have just shifted around here, and one over there. And that's it. So still lots of firepower. We'll be back at the end of Necrons turn four. End of Necrons turn four, so kill those Terminators and kill the Vexilla, unfortunately. So um, that's a pretty good turn for Peter. So you got kill. Uh, you hold something. Yep. Uh, you did get a Warlord now. Because uh, my fix is the Warlord. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't get Recon. Oh, no, you do get Recon. Yeah. You get Recon, yeah. And I get the bonus. One, two, yeah, and the bonus. Three, four, five. So that's a good turn. So you're up to 19 to 13. And I'm running out of models. Turn four for Custodes coming up. All right, bottom of four for Custodes. So these guys have gone that way into that uh, target rich area there. Uh, Valoris has come back this way with two of his Sagittarium. <laughs> And these four guys are just in 36 inch to try and clear these scarabs off. And that's it. So it's desperate times, calls for desperate measures. Here we go. Okay, uh, so uh, Custodes group wanted me to try the Venetaris. They suck ass. They do suck they ass. They couldn't kill anything in shooting, couldn't kill anything in combat. And died two, two guys died in Overwatch because <laughs> of three up save. So I'm convinced now that I've actually played them. Okay, so at the end of my turn here, uh, I just did like two wounds to this flyer. Did nothing with shooting, and Valoris single-handedly killed this Doomsday Arc. And uh, I actually managed to take these three Scarabs off the board with those uh, Sagittarium. So, uh, I did kill. I do hold. Um, I got to kill more this turn? You hold two objectives. I just hold one, so you hold more. Uh, I killed Scarabs and Doomsday Arc. Yeah. You killed... Terminators. Um, and the... And the Vexilla, so we're tied. So, so we're actually tied, yeah. Okay, and you don't get bonus anymore. I got an Engineer, and I don't have enough units for Recon. So one, two, three. Uh, so 16. So yeah, three points. So I'm up to 16, and you got an extra one. So you're up to 20. 20 to 16, going on to the top of five. All right, end of five, and uh, I think the game's over. Peter's got a four-point lead. And I just have Valoris and five foot dudes left. Uh, so that's a great game, Peter. Good game? That, yeah. got, that got scary. That was actually, so I think the turning point was actually that failed charge. Because if those yeah. guys had made that charge when they came in, then that puts me one movement phase ahead, basically. Yeah. And that means that happens earlier, and my Terminators take less damage. Although I don't think it will change the outcome in the end. You just have too much firepower still left. I think um, it would have... Uh, and I picked bad secondaries. I, yeah, the recon was like really bad. Well, again. I wanted to see if I could get recon with this kind of army, and I mm -hmm. think I could, but in this case of this game, how I had to deploy to not get shot, it screwed me, basically. So, it's, it was interesting, because what a lot of people do with um, extremely elite armies, with this, and because I always bring this, um, and so I don't know if you guys are playing Necron player... Uh, and they're bringing three planes. Either deploy really cagey, because you can just... Yeah, I mean, that didn't yet. end up doing that much. It and I managed to kill the plane in the second turn. Luckily enough, it wasn't... But I did have to sacrifice my captain to do it. So, like, any flyer list, like, the foot list is just going to lose. Um, so, yeah. so that was too bad. And with this, the only deployment where I could possibly get Yurikon would be table quarters. Um, with this foot list. Um... So, so that was an unfortunate choice of secondaries. Uh, the engineers worked out okay, but that's 170 points just sitting there doing nothing. Um, so I still don't think that that's worth running battalions, although I told the guys I would try it. Um, the Venetari are not worth it. They're still too expensive, but they're, they're okay if they were better, but they're too fragile and their weapons are just not strong enough without any rerolls in combat or shooting to do anything. Uh, and the three up say just really sucks, and that's what I've been saying all along. But I told the guys I would try it, but they're just not not good enough uh, to hold a spot as one of only two strong hitting units in your army, right? Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Those, those if you have a bunch of other stuff too, then they're great. They move twelve, they shoot decently, like that's fine. But as your only other hammer unit in the army, there's not good enough. Not good enough. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, I do like the foot style. You have to play super cagey. You're going to lose so much these days with Marines. It's, 
yeah. there, there's just there's right. there's no hope for the foot style i'm afraid guys but we'll keep playing the foot list a little bit i like your list peter it's obviously kind of the meta necron list it's quite strong lots of shooting good yeah. mobility the doomsday arcs are filthy um the, the auto mortals and stuff like it's really good scarabs are so good because they just they, they they're just, just hold stuff they're you can like engineer they're, them they're, they're you could different. just engineer them yeah actually. i can actually you could have got an auto four points just by engineering that Nurgle yeah i so every time i've taken engineers someone like surprises me by killing my engineers turn one or something stupid like that but you can Obviously usually works, tell that yeah. right so you got yeah. only one old school or you would have had more but you could have um, got auto four engineer with the scarabs. i would have got three old school you would have it. Yes, in theory, yeah. yeah. I only got one in school. Um, I would have got auto four. That is what it is. Yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, just consider doing engineers if there's no indirect shooting. That is true, yeah. yeah. And I'm just so used to, like, scorpiuses and all sorts of yeah. crazy stuff. Yeah, it's just um, all the firepower meant I had to hide behind this little building for these guys most of the game. Yeah. Um, so they have anti-infantry shooting, not anti-vehicle shooting. So they did a number on your... Destroyers, uh, yeah, they, um, pop the but destroyers. they do nothing to vehicles. Even with the disintegrators, there's only string five, so and not yeah. enough shots, just one shot each. If they were like ravagers and had th you know three shots each, then that would be different. But just one shot, it's just not good enough. Especially flyers and those minus one to hit, it's just not I, good I enough. I think there. it's so much harder, like when you compare these guys, like the guys on the jet bikes, right? Even shield captains are just regular, uh, regular infantry on the, especially on the jet bikes. That mobility is huge. Yeah. And so if it, if we strong. play this game against my other list, yep. I take first turn because the mission allowed go first deploy first. Yep. I gank a flyer first turn, no mortal wound strat. I kill another flyer every turn, um, and then my bikes and Aqualon can kill everything else. Right? Basically, what happened, yeah. but with a bike unit instead of those crappy Venatari. <laughs> so definitely. Um, how, anyway, I know it's a better list. But I'm yeah. playing the foot list. There's just certain lists that the foot list will not be able to handle. How many points are the Venatari? They're like 60 points each, something like that. Like per base? Yeah. Ew. Yeah. Guys, like, what did Darren do to hurt you? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I promised them I would try it. Yeah, um, no, they're, 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 they're not bad. At all. I'm going to keep playing them because maybe this is a bad matchup. Uh, and they had one good shooting phase, so I'm going to keep playing them. But uh, and we'll we'll make our final decision after more testing. I I also feel like sometimes the turn three deep, deep strike is better with something like that. Where well, I needed to. I needed to do it. Yeah. Right? I Otherwise, I was going to get overrun. Um, yeah. I like these. I like I like custodies. They're so fun to play against. And well, I mean, the like I almost broke cool. out. Yeah. Right. I almost broke out. You. I was one charge away from a successful breakout. Yeah. Um, as it was, I still managed to kill quite a lot, but not enough to get me back in the game. And these scarabs really, with the with the bonus, really like that, that really helped. Yeah, you, right? that ran away. It didn't occur to me earlier to come out and shoot them, um, but I was scared of all that firepower over there. Yeah. But I assume you would have had to shoot the Terminator, so maybe I shouldn't have make you make that choice. Doomsday arcs are gross. Um, once our yeah. ATC practices, doomsday arcs are really good. Yeah, there's they're just too good. They're they're not too good. They're really good. This will um, actually be a decent ETC list because you can alter your decks nowadays. So yeah, so this is going to be basically my yeah. what I'm running for the next yeah. bit. Once uh once we're done with the ETC stuff here in Canada, I'll be bringing all melee crons for you guys. Whoa. Trying to shift the meta a bit. All right, we got to play with this so, clash in the middle. We're gonna just have a big old battle royale. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thanks very much for watching. It's been a busy week. I'm going to try and get a game uh, against Francois next week because I had to reschedule him this week. And we'll keep playing some more foot studies. We'll try and bring the Tactica back again next week. So keep watching. Thank you very much for watching the Bat Rep. Thank you for coming over, Peter. Thanks again. And thank Thanks you for watching on the stream. And uh, please consider subscribing and following. And we'll see you next time.